Man, oh man, why is this game coming to? It's just one issue after another. And it's not even like these are minor issues. It's issues that bring entire servers and entire continents down for days on a basis of simple mistakes, which takes them forever to fix. It's literally becoming a meme of a game which is a shame because many of us were seriously enjoying it pre-patch 1.1 even though there were clearly certain bugs and issues of there. Today guys we talk about the downfall of New World. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and to give back to you guys I'm giving you the chance of winning 10,000 marks of fortune. To be with a chance of winning these simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from my comments section, so the more videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning. And good luck everybody. Now let's not be around a bush here. New World has never been 100%. I'd say 60-70% max in terms of the game being in a great state. But in reality, no game's really 100%. The difference with New World is, with everything Amazon do to try and fix the game, it basically goes backwards. Now pre-patch 1.1, the game had flaws, people exploited for self-gain. People abused many, many duping exploits and were able to earn themselves tons of gold. These exploits were the start and they led to Amazon bringing the game offline and rightly so to address said issues. Problem is, upon the fixes they applied, they introduced hundreds of bugs which affected more players than these gold duping exploits. I mean the first gold exploit was used in the beta and I believe was somehow reintroduced after a patch that applied for general stability. We then had a second wave of people exploiting for duping gold among other things. And the same happened again, they brought servers offline to fix things and yet when they were brought back online the effect it had on the game pretty much reduced the game to a 40% state. A game which affected more players than the exploits did. Then we got the November update 1.1 and yeah guys I'm skipping many instances of Amazon breaking the game here. But the update 1.1 introduced tons of new things into the game including the void gauntlets. Many fixes, weapon changes and even adjustments to end game farming which they didn't even reveal to players within the patch now and players had to learn these on their own. Changes like making high level enemies and elites much much stronger, reducing loot from elite chests, making skills much more of a grind, adjusting recipes and many many other things. Also seemingly added invisible lakes in the middle of farms to know that slow people down. This led to the game being in its worst state yet. It was laggy beyond anything I'd experienced so far with this game. And trust me, when your trading post is laggier than 150 people slaying a portal boss with 50 enemies there too, something is definitely off. The bugs were worse than ever, and the fact they stealth nerf things to make the already stupid long grind even longer was just straight up shady. Now I will state, after the maintenance we got a uh, post 1.1 patch, before the latest update, the game did feel a lot less laggy and buggy. But then guys, Oh no, Amazon seemingly thought it was a good idea to try and reimburse players that lost due to housing taxes and time skipping issues. And with this, the game was brought back offline. Funny enough, the dude in charge of the EU side of things must have headbutted his keyboard due to they somehow managed to refund players, EU players that is, 10 times the amount they were owed in terms of gold coins. Players logged back in to see they had 100k plus free gold coins to spend. And well, like what I think we'd all do, they went on a spending spree straight away. And with Amazon seemingly slow to react, when they did realise the mistake they'd made, somewhat hours later, they pulled the entire EU continent back offline. And while well, it was offline for basically a whole day, and the end result was a rollback to every player within the EU servers. Due to it being the only effective way of eliminating gold coin that players had been given and while well, free to spend and do whatever they want with, which I completely understand. Rolling back the entire EU population makes sense because many, many players would have spent that gold coin they had. And if they rolled everybody back to a state before they introduced and reimbursed players, or just after they'd reimbursed players, but with the correct amount this time, we'd be good to go from there, wouldn't we? But servers were brought back online, guys, but now with another major issue. Trading had been suspended, but this isn't the issue I'm talking about. Okay, so they said in a statement, and before we get into the issue, it's probably important you understand what they said. The trading post contracts take longer to address than character or company data. In the interest of time, while the trading post database is being restored, we have made the trading post unavailable until the operation is complete. 
And the major issue where players have been impacted people who were not affected by any reimbursement, people who had things up for sale and sold things in between a patch and the game being taken down just after the reimbursements, they have been rolled back, meaning that the gold they made from the sale of said item has been taken away. But the item they listed for sale, in many many instances guys, hasn't been given back to the player, nor is it still up for sale. So this means many players who were unaffected by any reimbursement have now lost gold or lost said items. And while this is just one of many many issues I'm seeing reported since the servers were brought back online, and it's the main issue I'm pointing out in today's video because many of my friends have been affected this way. I mean the game, like I said earlier, is quickly becoming a meme. A game which is being added to a long list of games that have just sunk at the creator's expense due to the issues that just keep piling up. Now personally, I love the game guys, I wouldn't be making videos on it if I didn't. But the direction the game is going in I've seen a hundred times before. Amazon need to do something and although it's clear they are trying, right now it isn't working out. And it's like no wonder the player base is falling off massively. One thing I will say, it's real early days yet still. There is plenty of time for this game to be turned around and hopefully something happens to where the game becomes a stable, fun and enjoyable grind of a game it once was. But we will see guys, we will see. I mean a video like this I just thought needed to be made. I mean you ain't gonna get many of content creators posting videos like this talking about the major issues the game is having on the basis of wanting the game to actually do better. But yeah guys, there we have it. If you are at a state of confusion playing the game right now due to the many takedowns and many maintenance drops that Amazon have been dropping on the game and you've logged back in to notice something isn't right it's probably because of this and the things they've been doing over the past week but like I said hopefully they can sort these issues out but we will see over time guys we will see if any news drops on the game or any new information from Amazon in terms of things they are applying to try and fix things this that and the other I'll have you covered right here on my channel but on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.